What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're doing well today. We're gonna to be doing the disassembly and maintenance of my Vosteed Raccoon Sheep's Foot Button Lock. That's a mouthful. Let's get into it. All right, I have everything out on the table here for this disassembly. I can't remember, this is a captive pivot. I can't remember if I was able to reverse it on the last one, so we'll check that out while we're in here. I do recommend Weeha Bits, they're linked down below. So are these finger bit drivers, which I don't think we'll need since this is a captive pivot. And then the lube that I use, which is the Hops Gun Oil Lube, I really do like that. Um, that lube, it's really, really nice. I think the only T6 is right here, so let's just check. No, it is T6 everywhere but the but the pivot. <laughs> everywhere but the pivot is T6. So I definitely make sure we hop make sure you're using we hop bits and make sure that you have a fresh driver. Uh, mine looks a little worn, but it doesn't look like it's completely used out yet. And then I do have one there that's a little bit newer that it probably will be a little bit better. So let's go ahead and disassemble it from the uh, show side and uh or the button lock side i guess well yeah i guess it doesn't matter either or is correct and if i am able to reverse the pivot i'll show you how to do that if you're interested in that i have found that it's a little bit easier to reassemble these with the spring being pushed or sandwiched down by the outer scale but let's just take a look and see go ahead and take your t6s out of the scales here this one I believe with the micarta or the g10 because it's smaller in nature i feel like i always have a hard time with that one wanting to come all the way out take your t8 man that looks really shallow nope but it's good and remove your pivot bolt go ahead and set all that to the side let's see if this outer scale lifts up it does and actually it might be yeah there goes the spring yep it doesn't need to come out it doesn't need to come out unless you're trying to get in there to clean it so let's go ahead and put that whoop, tighten that back down we really didn't need to loosen that one for some reason i thought this also um had something on the other side but it really does not and it does look like you can potentially reverse this so let's go ahead and get it all cleaned you do have st stamped five millimeter 360 fall is it 364 ball bearings? Hold on. Let's check it. Let's check it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, definitely five millimeter. And yeah, 364 balls. Pretty standard here. Uh, it is a budget knife, so I'm not, not going to really replace it. Also, I can't flip uh, the washers or the scales because there are no washers. So I'm just going to leave everything as is. I'm just going to clean everything up really nicely and I'm going to flip the pivot over to this side and I'll show you why here in a minute. Let's get it all cleaned up first, guys. All right, I'm going to start with the blade. I'm going to clean that up nice. Also, I am going to throw a little bit of lube on the side that it rides on until it breaks in. That'll help it keep smooth. I am going to go ahead and also, oh, it is nice and clean in there, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to grab my circuit board Q-tip cleaner here, and yeah, it's really gummed up in there, and just grab the rag as well. Don't have to push hard, guys. It'll, you know, it'll get down in there to clean it up. Yeah, just a little dirty in there, but I do know why they do that, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, it's not too dirty. Pretty clean little knife. Pretty clean little knife. We'll go ahead, throw that to the side. Let's clean the pivot off. All right, we are flipping it so that we're installing it from this side, so I'm going to reinstall this stop pin here. You can throw a little bit of lube in there. That does kind of act like a suction cup. Um, I don't think with the Vosties that I really had to do that. Also, I did want to make note while I'm doing this disassembly, uh, in the unboxing and in the review, I did the spine whack test. I don't want to continue to do that because those impacts will damage your locks. You can see where it is starting to kind of have an impact there. When you hit it, it, it does kind of hammer into it, and I don't want to oval out my plunge lock. It should be plenty strong. If you're pulling out of a cut and hit something, you shouldn't really need to worry about that too much. 
Now with everything clean, grab your lube of choice. We're going to start with the reassembly. Again, I want to put where the button doesn't protrude down in this instance. It is captive. It does have that D shape in there. I'm going to start by, and that's why I mentioned the suction cup lube earlier. Going to go ahead and start by dropping some lube on the pivot. That's just going to really get that action going really good there. I am just going to put a splash here in hopes that it'll act like a suction cup, but you know, your results may vary and it is going to create a little bit of spot on your micarta if it is a lighter color. Okay. Now the first bearing, you're going to want to go ahead and remember these were facing the scales. So you're going to want to lube it and then flip it so that it is facing the scale again. I, in my recommendation, I've had people tell me that it really doesn't matter, but I just like to reassemble it the same way that I got it. Um, I think that's my OCD. But when we opened this up, if you recall a moment ago, I forgot to point it out, the open side, which is how I was able to immediately tell that these were stamped and not caged bearings, was facing outward. And I think it just helps create like a little bit of a seal um, but with stamp bearings you're going to run the risk of those you know, potentially uh, catching dirt anyway what i recommend that you do at this point for the reinstall is just press it against the blade and then go ahead and drop that with the lock on into place oh come on there we go and that should keep that in place for you while you reassemble take your last bearing this one here you're going to let leaving face up or the open side showing just like it was when we took it apart i do want to try to find a better applicator that applicator is very cheap and wonky go ahead and reassemble that take your spring again this is a very easy disassembly reassembly drop that in the center don't really need a stretch but if you wanted to i'd recommend using something that you can kind of mark with a like a sharpie or a pen or something like that and then kind of gauge your measurement but this one here was perfect so i'm just going to reinstall it laying it flat this is actually the marquette micarta scale which is why i don't recommend putting the lube on that side i actually recommend if you want any lube in here to help with the spring staying in place just drop that in here inside the plunge lock i don't think it's going to help because it's such a small spring to be honest and what you're going to do when you flip it over you're just going to kind of wiggle the scale down on top of the spring until it's in place you'll clamp it together and then you can reinstall it and then when you disassemble it it's easier to control the spring from that perspective when you're reassembling it so let me i'm going to back up and take a look at where the spring is there it goes so it is definitely in place Everything just kind of fell back together, guys. Go ahead and grab your T8 and your pivot. Reassemble that, and then you'll install that screw that you took off from the other side to this side. And all you need, it's a two-screw construction. That's all you'll need to take apart are these two screws when you go to uh, disassemble for maintenance. Oh, that's too tight. There we go. So grab your T6 and grab your T6 bolt. And you won't have to mess with this side at all when you reassemble it. We'll just tune it here in a second. I really do like the sheep's foot version of this. I think I might actually get the crossbar lock because I think this could be, you know, a medium duty knife. Yeah, way too tight. Yeah, way too tight. Let's loosen it up a little bit. Still a little bit of play. No play. Centered. No play. I think I have it too tight, though. hard to move it like those micro adjustments oh yeah that feels good but let me see if i can come back out 
anymore. Oh, it's almost bouncy. And I have no play. No play. Let me see. Might be. I might have gone too far. It's hard to tell with my card sometimes. Ooh. Little hint of play. It moves so fast. No play. And it drops as soon as you click the button. A little bit of bounce. I feel good about that as I whack my finger. That hurt. Clean off that excess oil off that beautiful stone wash finished sheep's foot blade. And that is your disassembly and maintenance of your Vosteed Raccoon sheep's foot button lock. I hope this helped. Shout out to everyone out there that likes, uses the links, comments, is subscribed, and shout out to my members for the early access that you're getting to this video. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. I love you guys, and until next time, peace.